Hey everyone, my name is Adam Lee and I work for Microsoft Gold Partner PEI. We are a top partner in Office 365, Microsoft Link, and Skype for Business. I'm just making a video here to show you some of the uh, differences of Phase 1 Skype for Business. A lot of um, a lot of information has been going around and uh, to be honest there's been a couple people that have been a little bit panicked about what's going on and I thought I'd uh, put some of those rumors to rest and uh, you know just show you what's going on for the, at least this first phase so let's just jump right into it as you can see on my screen you have the Skype for Business new console uh, to the right of it is the Skype for Business and link console side by side so as you can see these are extremely similar really what it is is just a cosmetic change um, today is april 17th 2015 we are seeing skype drop right about now uh, this is obviously only phase one so let me reiterate the first phase of skype for business is just a cosmetic change so as you can see over here you have the full working Skype for Business console, and this is what the Microsoft Link console used to look like. So the changes that you can see are really just color, and you know over here you have circles instead of boxes, same as down here. But as you can see, these are pretty much the same across the top. You've got the groups, the status, the relationships, new, all the same here as well. Um, so a lot of clients who are getting this are going to see it through the Windows updates. There are all also ways to stop this process if you don't want it to happen. Um, you know That's something that you can go on to PEI.com and look through our blogs to see. Uh, some of the other things to note is that the new client will work with the existing Link 2013 and or Office 365 environment. This is something that has a lot of people panicked that you cannot use Skype for Business without the Skype for Business server. This new drop for Skype for Business can work on both of those environments. So that's something very, very important to note. This is just a really quick update for some of those people that have been interested in seeing some of the differences of the consoles of Skype for Business and Link. I will be having more videos released in the next few days about a little bit deeper dive with a Microsoft VTSP to talk to you about you know, what Skype for Business is and what the, some of the changes that are going to be much more in depth, including Skype for Business server. So feel free to check back here in a couple days. If you're interested in speaking to PEI about your Skype for Business Link 2013 or Office 365 project, feel free to go to www.pei.com or call us at 303-974-6800. Two nine. Thanks. Have a great day.